Gonna hit this. Okay, we are, right. we're rolling. We are now, by the way, let's go here and say, we're on with Joe D once again. Hi there. Joe D is here. There's Ray Guarino, and he has with him some sort of dial gizmo indicator. Dial gizmo it's indicator. A dial indicator. Dial. If you look, this is the old guy's indicator, because it's a real big one. Yes. Yeah, let, you got a big, got you got this. a big one, all right. Moves the, the all right. Moves. We'll save this show for That's sure pushing. with this. I'm sure of it. Okay. Well, this is something a lot of people don't know about. Now, what what and don't we know about? What is what is this thing, Ray Ray? Okay, like I, this is just a machinist tool. You use it for a lot of different things. And what did you use it for? I'm going to index the bell housing on my engine to make sure that the face of the bell housing with the transmission mounts is exactly parallel to the flywheel. Why do you want to do that? Because if it's not, if it's if it's cocked back and forth or side to side, it's going to mm. put loads on the transmission, and it'll wear out the synchros and the bearings and the gears. So if you know, you, you, much might not slide to breathe. That too. So you put the, the, the magnetic base here on the flywheel, mm -hmm. and you bring this thing through the bell housing. This face, this touches the outside of the bell housing. Now what is that? This is the dial indicator itself. Mm -hmm. Spin that. Spin the dial indicator again. And what you do is, Ooh, whoa, whoa. what you, looks like what it tickles. You, you set this up on the outside of the hole, on the face of the hole you'll of be, the bell housing. And you'll be seeing this on MotormouthRadio.com. I swear. And then as you crank the engine over, now you need a helper because. This is going to Someone spin. like this man right here. Someone just like that man there. This whole thing is going to spin with the crankshaft. So as you spin it, you look at the at the indicated runout on the gauge. Now, so you spin the flywheel. You spin the engine. You turn spin the flywheel the by the by the uh, crankshaft. Okay. Now the the, the runout, or the, they call it the TIR, the total instrument runout, for the for the face of the of the fly of the uh, bell housing should be no more than six thousands. Okay. That's easily read off the, off the dial indicator. And if it is, you look for the high and the low spot, and you can insert shims between the bell housing and the block as needed to, to bring it into the plane so that it's parallel with the flywheel. Okay. It's going to be nice and straight then. Right. It's going to be what? Nice and straight. Nice and straight. Then you, you said a nice and straight. Then you move it so the dial indicator is on the inside of the hole of the bell housing that the transmission shaft passes through. Right. And that hole, the center, you have to picture it, the center <laughs> of that hole. I like your hand gesture there, Ray Ray. <laughs> the center. The, the universal center. I'm so the glad radio is, I'm so glad radio is a visual medium. Now. The center of that hole has to be in a direct XY plane to the center of the hole in the pilot bushing in the back of the crankshaft. Mm. If it's not, the transmission will be high, low, right, or left. And you don't want that. Why, Joe? Because it won't be nice and straight no more. Exactly. Right. And it'll wear out the synchronizers and the bearings and the gears, and you'll have hard shifting, too. You could have also have hard shifting. Yeah. Plus, you could actually, the clutch could actually be cocked, and it won't engage or disengage correctly. Mm. In other words, wasted motion. Yes. Well, okay. Well, it puts a restriction into motion. So, this is what you have to do. The problem is, when you set this up and start cranking the engine by hand, you can see the dial indicator. But then as it spins out of your, your line of sight, you can't see it. So you need somebody <laughs> else to look at the dial indicator. Right. So once I get done with all of that, and this has a nice little feature here where you can, you can actually adjust this shaft with this little break point here. This is really cool. This is a... This that, is, that is a... Let me see how you can adjust your shaft, right? Watch the dial indicator. See, so you can move it. It's moving down, and then it'll move up. You can do a fine, I'm, I'm a fine a adjustment. I'm getting a reflection on You're the... You're probably running out of batteries. But... Um, no, no. This this setup was uh, lent to me by the fixer, by the way, yesterday, Ooh. because I was trying to get the right setup. I couldn't get it, you know, to fit the bell housing right. Mm -hmm. But um, so that's how you do it. Now, if the if the hole, if that center hole of the of the, we said shims will fix the up and down run out on the on the fly, on the uh, bell housing. Right. But if the hole isn't concentric to the, the the pilot pushing hole, what you have to do is use offset dowels. Yep. You take the two big dowels that are in the engine block, you pull them out, and you put um, Mr. Gasket, Lakewood makes yeah, them. Yeah, there's quite a few of them. You can just actually turn them like they, they have a, a flat uh, flathead screwdriver a, slot. Right. Yep. And what you do is you look at your total run out, and those those dowels come in graduations. I think there's a, a 7,000 set, a 14,000, and then like a 21,000 set. And you buy the set that's closest to your offset, and then you install Dial those. And, make the fine and it basically shifts the bell housing right or left 
just a couple thousands, so yeah. the other bolts will still fit right. But this is the right way to do it. Is Sounds it good. good. In other words, you ain't doing this with a piece of string and some chalk. Right? <laughs> some stuff here. Right. Actually, that stuff goes back, I mean, even in the 60s, you used to measure ball joint run out, uh, disc rotor run you out can, with that. You still measure disc brake run out with this very easily. You just yes. mount this the dial indicator on a, a very handy metal tool piece. to have. Right. All righty. Anytime something moves. Yeah. Well, we got to wrap this show up. All right. And we got to wrap this up. Sounds good. Wrap Thanks, Ray Ray. We're right. done. Okay. Where's the ribbon?